The process of importing a template is the same for a full kit, which is a complete website, or just a section, or even a widget, which is what we're going to do here. Um, so if we start at the top, the hero section, we actually need to go all the way down to this part here where you have the option to add a new section from scratch, uh, use AI or use a template that you already built yourself. So we need to click on that folder icon and then we need to import, which is this arrow here, import template. See that? So we're going to click there and then we're going to look for the file. Now the file, when you downloaded it, it was an, in a zip file. So you need to unzip it to select the JSON file, this format. So let's click here and we're going to look for the folder where you have your JSON file. And in my case is under products, social proof widget and see this file here. This is the uh, zip file. What I need is the unzip version, the JSON file. So open. Okay. Loading JSON files from unknown sources can be harmful. In, in some cases, if you haven't um, activated that feature uh, in Elementor, you won't be able to upload this file. So you need to activate, in some cases, um, the feature to upload files like JSON or um, SVG files for icons. So if you don't have it activated, you might need to do that in order to upload files like this. Um, continue, right? And now it's saved. Um, it's not directly outputted onto the canvas. It's saved here under my templates. So it should be called social widget. And here it is, social proof widget. All right, and we're gonna insert it. Um, all right, apply. Now it looks, it looks kind of off because it's not, um, it's not inside the same container uh, as the hero section. So what we're gonna do here is this. Uh, right click on social proof, copy, and then we're going to go all the way up to the hero section and we're going to open the container where the, um, the social proof is going to go. So it will be this container. See this container is the one for the buttons. So all you need to do is click, right click on the first container and paste. And see, it looks the the formatting is fine because now it's constrained by this container here. All right, and so it's all ready to go. Uh, all you need to do is change the images um, to uh, update the profiles of the people, uh, change text if you want to. This is all editable now. See that? Same here with the text editor. All right, and you're ready to go. All you need to do is hit the update button, and now it's on your website. And let's check for mobile. Good and good. And, and here, because you're importing it, I already corrected the, the negative margin here. So you have the benefit of that when you import it. All right, that's it. Hope you found the tutorial helpful.